In the continuation of the Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen build, a door will be made. I begin by mapping out the width and the height of the door, which is 5 inches by 13 inches. The door will be put on the left side of the island because a wall will be constructed in this spot later. When I began this project, I considered using foam board for the door, but thought a wood one would be ideal for the kitchen. In my stash, I found three panels of basswood to use. Each piece was 1 8 inch thick and measured 8 inches by 24 inches. There are pros and cons to using basswood. It's easy to cut and glue together, but splinters easily, so extra care should be taken when working with this wood. After a door template was made from the foam board, two were cut from the basswood. Since the wood is so thin, I doubled the door for thickness. Before moving on, one board had to be patched because on one side it splintered. Using the foam board door template, I trace out the windows on the basswood doors, then cut out the windows. Embellishments are also marked out on the bottom of each door. After cutting out the windows, the tops had to be patched. This is just how thin and brittle the wood is, which is why the door was doubled. Using cutout sections from the windows, I make paint strips for the windows.
square tiles were cut out for the bottom of the doors. A total of 12 tiles, six for each side, were cut out. Using a plexiglass face shield, I cut out the glass for the door. Once the glass is cut to size, it's glued to one door, then more glue is applied. Then the second door is laid on top. On to building the panes.
Next, the tiles are laid down. Once the door is made, it's on to marking out the door opening, then making the door frame. I'm sketching out the top frame. Here the top frame piece is glued to a piece of wood, then cut to match. Now to the side frames. Like the doors, each piece will be doubled. Before the frame is glued down, the door opening is cut.
To frame the tiles and give the door more dimension, I cut wood strips placing them on the pencil markings. On to applying polyacrylic to the door. The frame pieces were done off camera. After the frame pieces dried, they were glued around the door opening. The floor frame was reinforced with more foam board until the floor is installed. Using the same hinges used on the island, I attached the door to the frame. I measure one inch from the frame top and bottom to attach the hinges. Using my seam ripper, I punch holes in the screw markings. Here I'm adding a wood strip to the door to cover an imperfection, which also turned out to give the door more dimension.
replacing a foam board strip on the reverse side of the door to cover the screws and imperfections made during cutting. Later, a door will be put here when another room is constructed. For my first try at making a door, I didn't do too bad, and I'm pretty sure Christy, Coffee, and the other dolls will thoroughly enjoy it, as they will the rest of the project once it's complete. Off camera, I made a white polymer clay doorknob, then painted it with pearl white acrylic paint by Folk Art. Here's a final look at the door. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like and be sure to comment, share and subscribe for more fabulous videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.